Hi, I'm Ian Anderson and welcome to this tutorial on Illustrator CS6, Symbols and Patterns, used to create a background illustration. In this tutorial series, we're going to be looking at how to use the symbol tools. So the symbol sprayer tool, which we can use to throw down fresh new symbols. And then we're going to be moving and we're going to be sizing and we're going to be spinning these things around. We're going to be changing the colors so that very quickly we can get a new and interesting effect. And we're going to be making part of them transparent with the symbol screener tool as well. So in no time at all, you can get an interesting background fill like that. We're also going to look at some of the subtleties of creating your own symbols like this one here. And what do all the options mean? What are these guides around the outside? We're going to be looking, well, hey, we're going to be looking at patterns as well. So we'll see how to turn something which starts out life as a simple couple of squiggles, how that can turn into a new original pattern which repeats, and how to edit that in place so that you'll be able to produce a new piece of artwork which you can repeat into something like that on any kind of shape that you like. As well as all of that, we're going to be looking at pattern brushes so that you can get access to patterns in a more controlled way. I really hope you enjoy this series. By the end of it, we'll be putting together a background illustration using all the techniques we learn here. Let's get started. 